the one that almost got away. Hey, it's Wrestling Hero Figs. Now, the reason I say that is because this one right here, this one almost did get away from me. Uh, my friend Beast Nation, he put it up for sale. He ended up getting, it. yeah, someone bought it. Long story short, someone bought it, and I was sad, man. I sent him a DM. I'm like, bro. Next time you sell some, hit me up. <laughs> you know, nine times out of ten, I, I love his work. If you guys don't know who Beast Nation is, link in bio, go check that out. So yes, normally we start out with the pile of customs, but this, we're going to get this one open. And basically the way that I got my hands on this, I actually saw it listed on eBay. I'm always watching. I'm always, that's one thing I'm always watching is uh, auctions, whether it's customs, whether it's new figs. I'm 90% of my time apart from doing videos. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> It is a good percentage of the time, though, that I am on eBay. I'm an, You can call me, definitely call me an eBay uh, uh, holic. There's no doubt that, oh, there's extra stuff, too? Nice, bro. Heck, yeah. So, yes, I bought this from the seller that had actually bought it from Beast Nation. I don't know who the guy is, but uh, I was happy that he ended up relisting it. Um, I'll show you the accessories that it came with first. It came with uh, one half of the tag team titles, the uh, classic tag titles, as well as the stand. It looks like it came with the display stand. And the cool thing about this seller, again, I don't know who the person is, but he ended up relisting it for the exact same price he bought it from Beast Nation, which is cool because, I mean, most of, the, most of the time that people buy customs and they end up reselling them, they ended up reselling for a little bit more than what they normally got it for. This guy didn't. He actually sold it, um, like I said, same price that I would have paid Beast Nation to get this done. This is lit. This is actually based off, uh, what is it, a couple of months after he had made his return as the American Badass. And this one is different. I know you're saying hero fake. Didn't we, saw, didn't we see uh, an American Badass custom taker? You did, but here's the thing. With this one, you're, you're noticing a lot of things different. First off, I got to point it out, right, for the pants, we are getting like the light blue style design to it. I could be wrong, but I think the parts that he used this, because one thing about Beast Nation is um, he likes to post his progress. I think he ended up using the... Kevin Nash from that four pack from the what was it the Target exclusive four pack the WCW Notables he just repainted it the pants with to a lighter blue the shirt right there yeah that's kind of what I'm picking up it's the same style of torso right there in the front it says Crime Incorporated Brooklyn Brooklyn was that Crime Time <laughs> that's one thing that I remember now the back too not just because he put a hairpiece on you know on top he actually still went out of his way to do the design on the back right there it says three can keep a secret if two are dead <laughs> that's awesome man undertaker and his catchphrases love it um the hair piece right here this is the same style of hair piece that we saw on my uh, previous custom american badass so again if you're new to the channel go give that a watch you guys it's on there uh, that one actually uh that one was the one that i mainly wanted but hey it, when when i saw this that beast Na when i saw that beast nation had post this one as well i'm like dude i, I gotta capitalize on it. again enough differences to make you know have it be worth the pickup also the head scan it is is, uh, an old Jax head scan right there right underneath the neck area he actually did paint his uh I think it was his wife was it his wife or his girlfriend I, I can't remember off the top of my head but he did do the tattoo right underneath he ended up removing it right once they separated and went their ways and ended up going with M Michelle McCool so cool man so much attention to detail he added the right gloves everything about this figure bro Fireman, love this. Uh, you know how I feel about your customs, man. So if you're watching this again, bro, even though it didn't, didn't come from directly from you, thanks again for executing an epic custom. Now, next up right here, I didn't want to do this to my basic, to my basic Rollins. This is that one that we got uh, prior to the Elite being released. And, you know, I was like, you know, now that I have the Elite, I mean, don't get me wrong, I still have this in my display area, but, I, I, geez, I had to do it. I had to swap out the head. This is, again, my least favorite head scan. This is the one that came with the TNF Rollins. So I just, yeah, I ended up putting on my uh, on my Elite uh uh, Walmart exclusive line right here and this is cool this is actually one thing that I wanted to point out um, ringside actually did get a whole bunch of these they got them for cheap go on there discount code here will save you 10% at checkout and if you haven't seen this uh, in the past yes this is the one that came with them uh, this is a custom burn it down shirt on him this just gives it that overall factor and again oh yeah this <laughs> this definitely found a nice spot in the in the collection this right here after putting this scan on, I don't know. I might still add it on. I might add a shirt onto it just to kind of give it that. Or I actually do have an extra vest from the Elite, so I might put it on there just to mask it. Now, this one right here, I cannot tell you how much... <laughs> How much crap I get on my Instagram every time I posted my referee. I was using an old Daniel Bryan head scan. Um, this isn't the one that we got with this figure, so I just put it onto this one right here. Uh, this actually still works with it pretty well. I mean, after all, he did have, like, the shorter beard. did remove it, and I thought this actually worked pretty well for a referee, but people kept saying, bro, why is Daniel Bryan your referee? <laughs> 
<laughs> so yeah, again, uh, the head skin that I actually did have on this Elite, I did send it off to my friend Borracho Pancho to make a custom Kenny Omega. That's the one that came with this Elite right here. But I think right here, um, this this actually works well. I think uh, Larry Sabisco probably has the most average head skin in the complete Figgy line. <laughs> So I think this is cool. This is uh, and I had so many of these. If you guys remember, uh, they had these uh, four packs for twenty bucks at Target. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna use Larry Sabisco. Now Daniel Bryan, the man, has been putting extra time in the gym. He's gained a little bit of extra chest hair. I'm kidding. We're not even gonna look at that. But I think this this is something about Sabisco just gives it that right referee look. I really hope you guys cross your fingers. Drop a like if you guys actually want to see a referee made by Mattel. Come on, you guys, it's gotta happen. Next up, Lana right here, the ravishing Lana. Anna is no longer ravishing anymore. Well, she technically still is. So, you know, I needed to find something. Oh, I'll show you this one in just a second. I want to show you this one. Dana Brooke right here. As you guys know, right? She's got uh, she's, she's gone worldwide on us. She's gone Titus worldwide on us. So what I did is that I, I did add the Dana Brooke uh, head scan that we got in her most recent figure onto the, the Lana attire. This is cool. This actually, this is very reminiscent to what she actually, she's normally wearing, right? The only thing it's missing, it's like that list. I think that's one thing I could use. I could use like the list of Jericho, maybe do some, uh, you know, remove the actual uh, the Chris of Jericho list on it and just have her hold it. I think this was just really complete the figure. I love this. I think this is awesome. So it's going to be great for her to be a ring set accompanying her, 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 her two tag teams, right? Titus Worldwide. Now, once I had gotten, once I removed the, the Lana head scan off that figure, I needed to find something to put it onto. And this right here, this is kind of a fantasy attire, but it's actually still very reminiscent to an actual in-ring attire that she has worn. I used the Maurice from the, yes, from the Walgreens exclusive. And yeah, you don't want to look at this one. <laughs> this one, this is kind of like, uh, yeah, we're not going to talk about that. But this right here, this is, uh, yeah, it, it is fantasy attire, but I think if I were to remove, like, this right here, this, uh, little accessory, well, it's not an accessory, but this little extra vest that she's wearing, and just do a repaint, because she has worn a white attire, and that's kind of one thing that came to mind, so I was like, oh, man, this actually looks kind of, this, this looks pretty cool, I like it, I, if you guys, if you guys did enjoy the overall fix-up video, be sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel, drop a like, and we'll see you on the next one.